Hi CHS, welcome to the December 14th, 2022 edition of the CHS Announcements. I'm Journey. And I'm Jack Pendel. And our first story is tutoring. After school tutoring will be every Tuesday and Thursday from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Spanish tutoring is also now available every Thursday. Ski club. Winter is right around the corner and joining the ski, club, ski and snowboard club, there are many changes this year and there will be a limit on the number of club members. So sign up right away. The deadline to sign up for ski club is December 1st. Please email Mrs. Murray with any questions. Remind AP. Attention all students. Join the class to receive tips and messages from people at CHS that care about you. Code dash at 36A3F3. We promise only two messages a month. Write it down or take a picture and do it. Tell your friends too. Spanish Club. Next Spanish Club meeting is Monday, December 19th. See Senora Wazorek or Rosengren if you still need the code for the Google Classroom in order to receive updates and important information about the club activities. See you there. Performing Arts, Calling All Creatives. Our production of Oklahoma is underway. We are looking for costumers, set builders, painters, etc. to help create our show. We are in the scene shop daily from 2.30 until 5.30 or 6 p.m. daily. Please send any interested students our way that can join our troop remind by texting at 844-H4AE to 81010. Our very own Clarkston Robotics Program, Team Rush's drone team of seven CHS students traveled to Arlington, Texas, where they won the national title in Bell Advanced Vertical Robotics Championship. By piloting a custom drone, programming land vehicles, four tough matches, and a presentation to judges led the team to first place out of 41 teams. This earned the team a private helicopter ride around downtown Fort Worth. Let's congratulate Team Rush's drone team. CHS Store. The CHS school store operated by marketing students has gifts for everyone on your list. Number one fans, hats, and PJ pajama pant lovers, students and teachers, even stocking stuffers like mugs, stickers, and lanyards. Stop in to see us today, Monday through Thursday, 10.40 a.m. to 12.10 p.m., Wednesdays, 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. Specials hours include December 15th, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. We are located near the cafeteria. Congratulations to the October's Wolves Will nominees. If you see the staff and students listed below, please congratulate them. Ginger Robinson, Katie French, Owen Cameron, Sophia Van Vallis, Lindsay Wazorek, Will Paul, Matt Claver. Please congratulate the staff and students below for their November Wolves Will nomination. Giovanna Manny, Haley Raup, Megan Quach, Kennedy Bice, Will Clay Smacka, Caitlin Forshe, Becca Leland, Greg Warner, Jessica O'Rourke, Daryl Bialis, and Jeff Long. Next, we have some videos. Enjoy! So, uh, why did you decide to teach these classes? I decided to teach media production, PMTV production, because it was something I studied in college, something I have a passion for. For media production, what stood out to you to take the course? Uh, I, the main thing that stood out to me was the fact that I took it already. Uh, so when I took it the first time, we were hybrid. So half the days we were in person, half the days we were online. And it seemed like an easy course. And that's when my interest in film really peaked. Taking media production is a very informational course. You know it's in the morning, you get a lot of information out of it and it kind of wakes you up for the rest of the day. Uh, well, and for media production, what was your favorite subject that you learned about? Uh, when we covered all the film history stuff and all that, copyright was kind of fun because it kind of matched a bunch of things that I had already known. And it was fun to see what I had already known and what stuff I needed to catch up on and actually learn. Cinematography. I mainly really like how, learning how to use the cameras since it's very, it's very informational to learn how to use it. As I could use it basically with my own phone, I could film my own stuff. With learning how to use an actual good camera, it teaches me skills I could use in the real world. What are you hoping student, students learn from these classes? What I hope students learn is I guess if I would really to if I were to distill it down, it would be how to make a video interesting, how to make it informative, entertaining, but overall interesting. I think the the worst thing I uh, I think of when I think of a bad movie is something that's boring. Uh, well, what did you learn about in the class? 
basically everything to know about film. The first few units are about film history, and you do learn a lot, of, a lot about the cameras you use, a lot about just the history behind film. And then in the later units, you actually start to make your own videos and your own types of films. Like you make a mockumentary, an action film, anything you could really think of, you could probably make in this class. Uh, the history of film that you suck at singing. <coughs> That was, that was a fun project, but uh, we don't need to get into that. Uh. So, uh, who or what dry, drew you to this class? Uh, I took this class second semester last year, and I was drawn to it because I wanted to go into film. All right. And, yeah, I took it again because I absolutely loved it. The people here are great. That's good, that's good. And overall, it's just fun to have everyone around. I, I noticed that some usually will be the ones recording in the uh, school games. Uh, how much do we uh, use when, when actually recording? Uh, usually we use three cameras is how we have it set up. Sometimes we have what is called, the, I believe, jib, which for our sake is over there. It's the big crane that has a camera on top of it in our room. We record the games, like the swim and dive meets, the football games. We've got the TriCaster, we've got the people working the cameras, and the people that are working the cameras really have the most, the most job, because they're constantly mm -hmm. shifting the camera around, keeping everything focused. Meanwhile, the people on the, tri the person on the TriCaster, they just press a couple buttons and it switches which camera is focused. And uh, if, you, if you would, give a quick spiel to the people. Uh, on what they can learn in these classes. Sure. In media production, you're going to learn the basics of kind of history, copyright, but then also your pre-production, production, post. You're going to end up making kind of a short film or documentary. That's your final project. For PMTV, what I hope students get out of it is uh, you're going to learn a little bit more about um, live events. We do a lot of sports with that class. But also, I hope you advance your understanding in the different technologies we use. Since you already have a baseline of uh, filming and editing, hopefully the projects you create in PMTV are kind of a little uh, at a higher level because you've already learned some of those basics. So those are some of the big takeaways I hope you get from media and PMTV production. All right. Well, uh, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Pleasure having you. All right. Thank you for, uh, thank you for being here. All right. And uh, thank you for coming on. Cool. Thank you. Good morning, Clarkston. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man here. Let's get ready for some weekly weather forecasts. Starting off Monday, kicking off a week with some warmer temperatures for December, but that's nothing to be too worried about. It is Michigan, after all. <laughs> well, we got a cool 50-degree breeze, so make sure you bring your jacket. Then in Tuesday, the weather's going to... It's gonna get a little warmer there with fire! Fire! Everything's on fire! There's fire everywhere! Fire! Fire! But then on Wednesday, uh, the fire's gonna be gone because, I mean, well, everything is frozen! It's frozen solid! There is nothing that humans can do! Everything is frozen and our agriculture is gone! And then we got a pretty chill Thursday coming up after that and everything is pretty much back to normal. So make sure you bring your pool noodles to the beach day. It's gonna be 80 degrees. Make sure you bring the kids. But now there's aliens coming down from the sky. They're here to steal our children. They're taking the kids. Oh, the kids are gone. The aliens are stealing them. Spider-Man can't help us. We're doomed. And, and on Friday, it's the end of the world. There, there's nothing that we can do. Everything's on fire. There's tsunamis. The human population is gone! The Avengers abandoned us! Iron Man left! Thor went to space! Even the Justice League aren't helping! We're all doomed! It's a lost cause! But that should be about it for us this week, so I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week, and uh, stay tuned for your weather forecast for the weekend. That's, That's all for us, CHS. Have, have a, a great, great day, day, and Merry Christmas! Ooh!